served most of my career as a uh, detective. One of my most memorable cases is the Jim Childers murders. I've known the man since 1979. He was 15 years old when I first met him. There isn't much about the man I couldn't tell you other than the latter part of his life where he had a, a mystery that I guess we need to solve. I received a letter from Childers. This guy's admitting to killing uh, Carrie Lynn Baker. And Carrie Lynn Baker was a, an active missing persons investigation. We got a call to um, five of Clarksburg detectives. They had had information that there was a body dumping. I got into dog handling about 20 years ago. I like to work a lot of cold cases. <laughs> We've worked cases that were 30 years old and the dogs had no problems. Saw it on the news and then we were contacted by law enforcement. I was watching my dog work his way up a hill and located the body. Within an hour or so, uh, the detective Weigel called back and said, we got a body. We pulled into a, a brushy area that was very close to the main road, and there she was. And he admits to an additional homicide and burying the body in Braxton County. As for, you know, the information that he gave us, you know, some was true, uh, and some didn't appear to be true. That's normal characteristics of a serial killer. It's uh, a Jekyll and Hyde story. But the part about the, the three additional bodies being on the farm in Braxton County. Their farm was more or less sacred to them. Out of all the years that I've known them, I was never invited to go to the farm. All I know is it was a, a huge, huge place, and we only worked it the one day. Uh, we were expecting to get called again because of the size of the area, and we just never did. We didn't go deep into that farm at all. I'm sure that they did an adequate job down there uh, for normal circumstances, but I, I think we were dealing with abnormal circumstances here. The man said that he killed five people. I believe that he killed five people. I believe it. A decision was made, and I'm not sure exactly who made the decision, and that they felt that, uh, that their search was adequate. And both those bodies were found where he said they would be. He said that he killed three more, but he wasn't disclosing who they were or where they were. We don't know who they are. I think it was credible, and I think it was presented in a way that it did it has led me to believe over the years that there's a strong possibility that there's more bodies. Uh -huh.